So tell me a little about your character in this. I mean, you don't have a lot of screen time, but it's right. obviously an important character. So Yeah. Um, one of the things about my... Well, the story is uh, last season, my character suffered a career-ending uh, knee injury. But uh, during the off season, he brought himself back. He comes back in you know the best shape of his life, ready to you know hit the ground running, just to find out that he might be replaced by a young uh, um, draft pick. And so he's fighting for survival, uh, for his career, and he also doesn't want to go home and tell his wife that he's out of the job after probably everything he put her through. Yeah, trying to get back in shape. Um, what was it like? Your big scenes with Kevin Costner. What was it like working with an actor of his stature? It was awesome. It was really cool. <laughs> I mean, it was like I mean. Not to sound cliche, it was a dream come true. I mean, I have always wanted to meet Kevin Costner. And then the first time I meet him is 20 minutes before we have a scene where, you know, we go at it. Uh, but it was really great. I, I want, I would want people to feel, for going forward, if people felt, I'm sorry, how do I say that? <laughs> going forward, I, if people felt, how do you, how, people who, who I work with going forward I hope they feel about me the way I felt about working with Kevin like he's just a pro he's awesome he's a great actor and made me feel comfortable and just set the tone for like a really cool scene I think did he give you like did you have any time to talk to him or ask him any advice or about any advice about I mean he's had a really long career I mean yeah I would I would like to have that conversation <laughs> but we didn't have time on the day but I hope to have it if when I see him in New York or yeah LA. Because, so, I mean, he's there's he's done something right. Yeah. I mean, how... I mean, you've had a great career so far. I mean, Thank who you. would expect that, like, Smallville was going to be on for, like, 10 years? I mean... We didn't. Yeah, I know. I mean, I was just, like, a senior in college when I remember going to the movie theater and there was a little teaser for the, mm -hmm. for the TV series before it. And to imagine that would be on that long, I mean... You've gotten out of the TV series, and I mean, what do you think? What do you want to do with your career? I mean, you've done directing yeah. with Smallville, mm -hmm. and I mean, there's producing, there's acting. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm gonna I'll be focusing on more film now, and hopefully get into directing and producing film. Um, I have a television development company where we make television shows. We had a show last year called Hellcats that was on on the air for a couple of years. I just like being a part of sort of creating stories, and as long as I can continue to do that, I'll be happy. So you're you're up for anything, basically. Yeah. <laughs> would you starve yourself like Matthew McConaughey? Um, I don't know. That would be hard. <laughs> that would be really tough. I don't know how they got Fish and Bale in the movie yeah. years ago. The Machine is like, I don't know. That's if it was a really awesome role, you're like, <sighs> I don't know. I'd have to be in that position. Yeah. But uh, no, it, you know what I like about those sort of choices is those those are choices that actors make that really do inform the character. I mean, if you even look at Raging Bull with what Robert De Niro did, I mean, you can, it changes the way you move, it changes the way yeah. you look, and it, and it, you know, it informs the character. I mean, he, it wouldn't have been, the performance wouldn't have been what it was if he hadn't done that. It was a great choice. Yeah. A bold choice. Yes. Is there like a dream character that you'd want to play, maybe from a book or something that you really enjoyed? Not at the moment. I haven't been able to pinpoint anyone specific. Well, who who do you, who else do you look up to? I mean, you said Robert De Niro and clearly Kevin Costner, but yeah, people like um, Robert Redford, Warren Beatty, those guys. Who, it, and partly because they're you know the actor, director, producer. I sort of like that 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 triangle. I think. Now, did you uh, did you play football as a kid? Mm -mm. Now, did you get to do any kind of football training in prep for this? Yeah, I went to the Cleveland Browns training camp. Um, got to spend some time there and. Um, Learn, talk, didn't play so much. I mean, I played a little, I mean, threw balls around a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> as every guy would do if they went to training camp. But um, it was more talking to the guys about what it meant and to be a football player, like what your life is like off the field. That's, I was really curious about that. How involved were the Cleveland Browns with this? I mean, because they're <laughs> the center team on this film. Yeah. So were they pretty supportive? I mean, I think so. I mean, I wasn't part of those discussions, yeah. but it's the first film the NFL has ever endorsed. That's why we're able to be... Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, it's why we can actually be the Browns. That's why we can use the facilities and, and get access to the, the uh, video footage that they use from, from last year's draft. Yeah. And um, I think it, give, it makes the film feel really authentic. Um, but, you know, we had some, pl some Cleveland Brown players who were also part of some of our bigger scenes. And they were great. And they were, like, really funny, just sort of like... <laughs> You know, they, they, these are guys who will literally run into a pack of guys, you know, that are 300, 
pounds at six foot whatever trying to kill them yeah and the minute a camera rolls they're kind of like what do i do man what do I do? <laughs> they get real nervous and it's like we were all on the opposite side yeah. it didn't take long for us to all kind of gel because at first like the four or five player guys would just sort of all be together and they were nervous they didn't want to talk to yeah. anybody and then you know the actors were kind of over here and then it didn't you know in a number of hours we yeah. were all like all right cool like we're all and like they would ask the actors for help. <laughs> They'd be like, hey, should I do this? And the, and the actors would be like, well, man. And then when we get into like some of the football stuff, I remember being going over like, hey, is it weird when I like kind of hold the ball like this? And they'd be like, yeah, man, don't hold it like that. Hold it like this. Hold it like this. That's how we would do it. So it was like a really, it was a team. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what was it like working with Ivan Reitman? I mean, he's like a classic director and, yeah. you know, you, I grew up on his films. I mean, Ghostbusters. Yeah. You know? So what was it like? Being it was directed by him. It was he's a warm sort of comforting director um, and he just sort of creates an environment where you can you can you can do your thing and he just sort of encourages you to to follow sort of like your instincts and at the same time he sort of shepherds you and guides you in the direction that the film needs. So it's a really great experience. Was there anything that you guys shot that ended up getting cut from the final film? Uh, maybe more stuff with your guy or um, every I was very happy to see that everyone every scene that I'm in stayed that's, that's, and that's a rare thing I was yeah. happy about that I was like cool but then I look back and I'm like well it's funny my character this, you can't really cut out any of the scenes my character's in so because of where they land yeah. in the film um, but there was a take where um, just before Kevin's last line he goes let me do my job or something like that and in one of the takes he just sort of gave me like one of those sort of like hey man like, like a, a jab in the stomach just sort of like hey you know wake up but I wasn't really expecting it. And it kind of caught me. And I was like, and I had to kind of like keep it together. He walks away. And like, cut. He's like, hey, you cool with that? I'm like, yeah, I'm cool with that now. But then he never did it again. It was just sort of like in the moment. Like a little gut punch? Yeah, just yeah. You know, like, dude, you know, back off. <laughs> and uh, usually that doesn't happen yeah. in scenes. Like, people change up their words, their mannerisms. Yeah. But usually they don't, like, physically assault the other person. <laughs> Um, but it, I'm sure they just didn't use it in the yeah. film, but it was, a, that was a funny moment that I know didn't get in there. There's you, probably a blooper somewhere. I don't know. We were talking about working with Kevin and, you know, kind of the rich history that comes with that. And, you know, you've had those moments before, like when you work with guys like Christopher Reeve, do, do you have like geek out moments or are there moments where you're kind of like, Oh my God, I can't believe I'm doing a scene with yeah. this guy. Like, does that go through your head? It does. And a lot of it for me is more the fact of like what they've accomplished in sort of like acting, you know what I mean? Like with Kevin, it's like, wow, like we accomplished so much. Even with, with Christopher Reeve, it's like, like, wow, these guys have done so much. They know so much. They're, they have so much experience and I just want to like tap into it and like yeah. learn from them in that regard. Yeah. Yeah. Just one more question. Well, and the other, the other great thing about these guys that, that I've found, especially Kevin and Chris and even uh, like Steve Martin is it's like these guys have accomplished so much and they're still working this hard. They're still this focused mm -hmm. And they're still this cool, like they're still like this, they still, they're still in it with you. They're still partners in the scene. And it's like, that's a good thing for a younger actor to see because maybe that, maybe those things are, you know, keys to the success. Yeah. Camaraderie. Yeah. You, you mentioned directing and, you know, with your production company, what else is, uh, you know, do you have lined up for the future? Uh, I'm not. I got nothing. <laughs> no, I mean we're looking let's, at some let's things. Let's make a movie right now. <laughs> no, but, figure out what the next movie. Is we're, like. we're, I mean, there's there's things we're looking at, but there's nothing that I'm signed on to yet. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. That was fun. Oh. 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 Oh.